Are you struggling to upload your app's production certificate to Firebase? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the frustrating error message. The APN certificate provided does not match the current environment. I totally get how stressful it can be when you're trying to update your app and you hit a roadblock like this. It can feel like you're stuck in quicksand, right? But don't worry, we're gonna sort this out together. Let's take a closer look at the situation. One user recently asked, why am I getting the error that my APN certificate does not match the current environment when trying to upload it to Firebase? They want to ensure their users receive notifications after the app update. Sound familiar? Let's find a solution. So, what does this error really mean? It usually indicates that the certificate you are trying to upload does not correspond to the app's current environment settings. This can happen if you're using a development certificate instead of a production one, or if there's a mismatch in the app's bundle identifier. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a valuable resource that will guide you through updating your app in the App Store seamlessly. To resolve the issue with the APN certificate, the user should first verify that they are using the correct certificate for the production environment. This means checking that the certificate is indeed for production and not for development. Next, the user needs to download the correct APN certificate from the Apple Developer Portal. They should log in, navigate to Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles, and locate the production certificate for their app. After downloading the certificate, the user should convert it to a .p12 file format. This can be done by double-clicking the certificate to open it in Keychain Access, then exporting it as a .p12 file. Now, the user can upload the p12 file to the Firebase console. They should navigate to the Cloud Messaging section and upload the certificate under the iOS app settings. Finally, the user should test the push notifications to ensure everything is working correctly. They can do this by sending a test notification from the Firebase console to their app. Fun fact, did you know that the first push notification was sent in 2009? It was a simple message, but it paved the way for the complex systems we use today. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution is to check if you're confusing the development certificate with the production certificate in your keychain access. Make sure to export the correct one. Here's the resource I promised. Check out the official Firebase documentation on setting up APNs. It's a step-by-step -step guide that will help you avoid common pitfalls. And there you have it. With the right certificate and provisioning profile, your app should be ready for notifications. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and remember to check out that resource for a smooth app update.